So Maria, there's a very compelling family drama at the heart of this film, and I just wonder what you enjoyed about what you enjoyed about creating that relationship with Teresa Palmer. I think if you take the horror aspect away from this film, it could be a standalone family drama. It is about mental illness in a family, how that separates people and the complication of that, and a mother um, who's played by me trying to do her best to connect and take care of her kids, and it's not possible for her to do so, especially when she's off her medication. And your director, David Sandberg, I know he was keen to minimize the use of CGI when it came to Diana, the ghostly entity um, in the film, and I just wondered how that affected you as a performer, having her there physically. I have to say, I was so shocked when I saw uh, the end piece that there was hardly any CG, if any, that they did that all with lighting and it was all practical with Alicia, who's a stunt woman um, and a gymnast playing Diana. Um, and all of her, you know, the way she moved her fingers, the way she crouched, the way she moved her shoulders, she created this whole epic character just from her body movements. And that has a lot her and a lot to do with the way David shot it. Were there any surprise encounters with Alicia in costume when the cameras weren't rolling? Yes, walking down the hallway to the bathroom and turning into the bathroom and her coming out. And I was like, oh my God, don't, don't scare me. And you, you tweeted um, recently about the lack of um, female role models when, when you were growing up. And I wondered what, you mentioned Princess Leia, was that something you, t you you've always ended up dressing up as, but you'd actually rather have been someone yes. else? I remember telling a teacher when they said, what do you want to be in life? And I said, Indiana Jones. And they said, you can't, you're a girl. And then for Halloween costumes, it was always, you know, my brother is dressed up as Luke and Han Solo, and I was Princess Leia. And I was like, well, I want to be Han Solo. So to see this new evolution and revolution of Ghostbusters this weekend, um, and little girls dressing up in Halloween costumes, and I'm producing now, and those are the kind of movies that I'm making women role models in front of and behind the camera. And Going back to Lights Out, you hear some horror stories of how horror movies were made, thinking about Friedkin and Kubrick giving their cast of a bit of a hard time. What kind of atmosphere did uh, David Sandberg create for you on Lights Out? David is so down to earth and practical. He has a passion for film, you can tell. He's very interested and intellectual about it in shots. He hired great people around him. Um, who have been on sets for many years and who are excellent at what they do. He hired very well-trained actors. Gabriel is not a little kid. He's like a man. Teresa's wonderful. Uh, Alexander's wonderful. The entire cast. So he um, knew what he wanted and let us play within that. And how much of a horror fan are you generally? And if so, which have made the biggest sort of impact on, on you over the years? I have to say, seeing The Exorcist as a kid, when she turns her head around and vomits, and the whole demon thing, her rising off the bed, was so terrifying. I don't, I, I don't think I've seen a horror movie since. I don't watch horror movies. <laughs> Safe to just be in them. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in them, but I'll watch them. And, and just finally, looking back over your career, I just wondered, it must, must be quite hard, but is there a particular role or film that holds a very special place in your heart? Um, for one reason or another, perhaps as a, a turning point in your career? Or just, just I, su significant. I suppose my favorite film and that was a turning point in my career was The Cooler. It was one of those little ones we shot in 21 days in Reno and we had such a laugh and just created and um, came up with stuff on the fly and it turned out to be this really beautiful, touching story. Very Bella, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.